Hi all, Electric Roo here. This is a part one video of a new project I'm going to do. Winter's coming, so it'll give me something to do. It'll probably take me a while as I work on a little bit at a time. Oh, about 10 years ago, I built an L34 amp, and I always thought I could do a little better. So I thought I would make an ST70 clone with some of the components that you can buy to rebuild your ST70. Uh, with a new chassis uh, that I had purchased and also uh, transformers who were custom wound by Tim Smith who is one of the users in our Fun With Tube user group. So he had some transformers he'd been getting rid of lately so I purchased these off of him. And uh, Edgore, Edcore Power Transformer and some other things. So I think it would be an interesting project. Like I said, it's going to take me a while, so this is uh, part one. The next video we will deal with uh, cutting holes in a chassis and setting, laying out the chassis and things as such as that. It'll take a little bit of work as I get more of the components in. So here's a quick view of some of the items that I'm going to use in this build. It's been a good number of years, I suppose 10 years, since I built the L34 amplifier. And I thought it could do a little better. And I thought I'd use a uh, different chassis. And I just received this chassis in the mail the other day. And you can see we have the top and bottom are basically the same. We have the front and rear panels here. We have couple cutouts for volume control and uh, on and off switch there side panels back panels all the hardware you need legs and such knobs on and off switch came with it and I thought I would do a ST70 clone in this chassis so I think it would be a, something a little different the transformers I'll be using were custom wound. Tim Smith over at Fun With Tubes, uh, he does a lot of different uh, amplifiers he builds and a lot of custom work. And he had these custom wound just for this purpose for S to do ST70. And they're uh, 40 watt transformers. 5K instead of the usual, I think, what is it, 4.2 and an ST70. So I think uh, two of those will work out nice. Um, I'm going to use a driver board that you would normally use to upgrade an ST70. And this has a constant current source on the driver tubes for the push-pull output tubes. Um, I'm going to be using 12 BH7s and a 12 AU7 just for a uh, first preamp on there. Uh, normally, I guess on the rebuilds of an ST70, this would sit on top, but it's going to be down below with just these sockets exposed on there. And also, I'm going to use a uh, auto bias board from Tubes for Hi5. I've used one of these on the 6V6 amplifier, and it worked out real well once you set the bias. It remains the same for each tube. You don't have to have matched tubes. And it supposedly increases the life of the tube. The bias doesn't change depending on the uh, power supply load. It'll be completely the same. And these are nice that they have a... You have some LEDs here. Which will tell you the status whether the tube is actually working properly or not. And I think there's another LED on this board. It's it's kind of like a soft start, so it brings the bias up slow on the tubes. So that'll be tucked down in underneath. Um, I'll be using a uh, a uh, Edcore uh, XPWR214. That's uh, 720 volt center tap, 400 milliamp with two. 6.3 volt 
secondaries at 4 amps each and a 70 volt bias tap and uh, I haven't got it yet but I'm going to use a little uh, total transformer for the supply for the uh, um, filaments on these preamp tubes with a little bit of a uh, DC on it. A, uh, so uh, I have a couple different tubes I'm going to use Actually, I have some uh, I have some uh, L34s I could try out in there. I have a set of these. These are these are uh, tube amp doctor. Uh, these actually were a match match quads that I have, but again, it's not necessary here. But I'd like, really like to try out these. I found some old case T77s from uh, IC. Now these ones are marked Russia. Um, they look like your standard. Russian build. Uh, it's got the ring uh, getter halo on there and we're, we're going to see what these these will do. I have a set of four of these so I'm curious because I like the KT77s in a single ended amplifier that I built. It really, they really sound nice except those were more expensive tubes. These these uh, weren't really that expensive. Uh, these were like $15 each so I thought I'd take a chance and we'll see how they sound. So I think it'll be an interesting build. This is going to take me a while. Uh, I figured I'd make a nice winter project. So I guess I'll make a few more videos as I do more to this build. And we'll, we'll see how it comes out. Any questions, comments, uh, suggestions? Uh, no problem. You just send me an email send me a message uh, with this board I don't know if I'm going to use them or not you know I'm one for just using uh, standard capacitors but they sent me these these uh, Russian so-called oil filled I, I, I mean they test out okay maybe I will use them I don't think I'm going to see much different than your standard these are the uh, K7510s well this get it focused in there a little bit and uh, so I may use these they test okay these I guess they're they're metal hermetically blah boy I can't talk today you know what I mean they're sealed and they test all right I may use them on the uh, for, for the coupling caps we'll see well, that's a, that'll be another interesting thing I can always pull them out and change them if I don't like them, but I'm curious to what they will sound like. So, uh, other than that, that's what we got going on. So, I will talk to you at another time when I get a little more done here. Have a good day.